everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight to Hot House Global. The collective project is created and produced by a team of people who have come together to provide cultural programming and a resource for social justice activism. Our team is me, Marguerite Horberg, David Offenberg, Edward Wilkerson Jr., Jonathan Woods, Dushan Mosley, Luis Che, John, Bea Cabrera, and Vedran Rasibigovic. Our collective is volunteering to present this work so that money can be raised to support musicians adversely affected during this health and economic crisis. You should find donation links on the Twitch channel page and Hot House website. P please contribute to the performers and to Hot House so that we may sustain the project through donations and community support and not impose any barriers to participation. One goal of this project is to provide greater access to the arts and to present cultural voices that are not typically found on commercial stations. These are live events and as such have a few rough edges as the technology is being developed. If the feed drops, please stand by as it will likely begin again shortly. Please spread the word. You can watch Hot House Global on Twitch TV, Streamlabs, YouTube, and the Hot House website. You can also start your own watch party on Facebook by sharing the live feed with your friends. Please also chat, comment, and donate. We hope you will give us your feedback and let's grow together. Program information about the events on this station and other projects organized by our nonprofit organization Hot House are detailed on our website hothouse.net. If you would like to host or curate a program, kindly drop us a line at hothouse3.0 at gmail.com. Thank you for being the most important part of Hot House Global. Please sit back. Enjoy the show, and we should start the stream very shortly. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining our Six Degrees concert. Today marks our 20th anniversary, excuse me, 10th anniversary. We were founded in 2010. And so in 2020, we celebrate our 10th anniversary. Six Degrees is a group of women who came together who, with a shared past, yet we come together from different traditions. Many of us were members of American Women Composers, Midwest Chapter. Many of us were members of ASCAP or BMI, the AACM, Association for the Advancement of Creative Musicians, IAWM, International Association of Women in Music, Cube and New Music Chicago. And so 10 years ago, we came together because we wanted to do something that was truly uh, women to reflect the music of women composers. So today you will hear music from five of those women, myself, Regina Harris Bayaki, also from Kyung Mi Choi, from Esther Hanviria Punt, Janice Mizrael Mitchell, and Patricia Moorhead. You will hear three world premieres today and one US premiere. We have about a one hour program, so we thank you so much for joining us. Sit, sit back, relax, feel welcomed, and we will start with our first piece. The first piece is a piece that I wrote called Hashtag 2020. As the name implies, this music is a reaction to some of the things that have been going on. And if you don't mind, I'll read my brief bio. I am a composer, an author, and a poet. My music has been performed and recorded by acclaimed artists and orchestras. I wrote a mass, an opera, concertos, ballet, jazz, and gospel music. I founded Haiku Festival in 2004, and that's a poetry festival for children, to celebrate children through poetry while promoting literacy. And I'm also the founder of Six Degrees Composers, the group that you will hear today. 
The first piece, Hashtag 2020, was commissioned by Dr. Alicia Cordoba Tate. And Alicia is the principal English horn player in Sinfonia da Camera. She received the DMA from the Juilliard School of Music. She is professor of music and the Bernay director of the Center for Catholic Studies at St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Texas. Alicia will be playing Obo di Amore. It is uh, related to the oboe. And hashtag 2020 is in four sections or four movements. The first movement is titled Global Smudging. And it was inspired by a pandemic poem that I wrote about how I wanted to smudge the earth and to cleanse the globe of all of our problems. The second movement is titled After the Last Word. And this is sort of a dirge. Uh, I wrote it to have a, a kind of a taps that you would hear played on cornet or trumpet. And this is a piece that I dedicate to my brother cousin. We called each other bro cousin. He, he was my bro cousin. I was his sis cousin. Charles Anthony Belmont, who joined the ancestors earlier this year. So movement two is after the last word. Movement three is 846. And that is the time that uh, eight minutes and 46 seconds that the Minnesota uh, Police Department took to um, kill George Floyd. And the fourth movement is titled Unity in Time of Need. And it is our theme today, Unity in Time of Need. So without further ado, I ask you to please welcome Dr. Alicia Tate as she premieres hashtag 2020. Thank you. Uh -huh.
Thank you so very much, Alicia. I've told Alicia many, many times that uh, when I grow up, I want to be just like she is. Not only is she a beautiful person, but she's a great performer. And I thank you so much for breathing life into hashtag 2020. And I'm sure all the families who are hurting now um, can find some solace and healing in your music, Alicia. Thank you so very much. Our next piece is by Esther Hanveriapont. Uh, many call her fondly Esther Hanna. Esther studied piano in her native Philippines and at Roosevelt University and Northwestern University here in Chicago. Her music features many genres, styles, and languages. She founded a children's music school in her hometown of Cebu in the Philippines. She is active fundraising, teaching, and presenting virtual concerts. The piece she's presenting today, Prayer for Peace, is very special because she set the prayer of the Dalai Lama, and he was so impressed with her music that uh, it looks like this will lead to other collaborations. I mean, how great is that to have someone collaborating with the Dalai Lama? But Esther has that sensitivity. She will be performing, um, playing piano, cymbals, gong, and melodica, and she has a singer with her, vocalist, vocalist John Escola. So please welcome Esther Hanviriapont as she presents Prayer for Peace. Good evening. My name is Esther Bonconsejo Hanviriapont, and I'm also known as Esther Hanna. Thank you so much for joining us on this evening of music. 20 years ago, the book Ancient Wisdom, Modern World, Ethics for the New Millennium was published. His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, Chen Sim Gyatso, wrote his thoughts in the hope of guiding us to our happiness through good conduct and compassion. On the very last page, he wrote Prayer for Peace, which inspired me to write a piece of music as my gift to the coming 2000. The office of His Holiness has very kindly given me the permission to share this piece with you. It is now 2020. I hope every day we remember and act on this prayer, that we all can hear it uttered, thought out, and acted on by each of our neighbors, that we can realize that each person is extending his hand so that we may build our community, our world of trust. For the office's kind permission, I am most grateful. And I'm very thankful that through this Hot House Global Concert and through the Six Degrees composers, the voice of my colleague, John Escola, will bring music around a prayer to your homes. Music around the prayer.
become at all times, both now and forever. A protector to those without protection. A guide to those who have lost their way. A ship for those with oceans to cross. A bridge for those with rivers to cross. A sanctuary to those in danger. A lamp to those without light. A place for refuge to those without shelter. And a servant to all in need. Oh 
music per hour. Thank you. Thank you so much, Esther and John. I'm getting a lot of feedback on um, Twitch and Facebook and um, people texting me. Uh, John, everyone is madly in love with your voice. I mentioned uh, to them that you're a cantor and a choir director at Assumption Church here in Chicago, as well as a member of Chicago Cabaret Professionals where you and Esther perform uh, together quite often. I'm thinking about GIA publications here in Chicago, and I hope that uh, they do a lot of hymnals for liturgical purposes. And I'm hoping that uh, they will be made aware of this piece. And to that end, I will contact them myself, Esther, with your permission. Thank you so much. Uh, Music Around a Prayer by Esther Hanviria Punt. Thank you so very much. Uh, if you're just joining us, my name is Regina Harris Bayaki, and this is Six Degrees Composers' 10th anniversary season. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to call your attention to the donate button on your screen. It's um, just below the screen, and I don't want you to do it during the show, but uh, after the show or whenever I'm talking, there is an about section. And this concert is free, obviously, and open to the public. But if you are inclined to give donations, we would appreciate it. Um, we'd like to pay our musicians. And we also like to make donations to Hot House Global because even though they don't charge us, they still have to maintain things to keep us going. So any donation uh, would be appreciated. No donation is too small or too large. Our next set features Patricia Moorhead. Patricia Moorhead celebrated her 80th year, her 80th birthday this year. She is 80 years young and still writing music. She is a composer and an oboist. She holds a doctorate from the University of Chicago. She studied at the Royal Conservatory of the University of Toronto, the Paris Conservatory with Nadia Boulanger. And at University of Chicago, she studied with John Eaton and Shulamit Ran. Her music has been performed all over the world, uh, in England, China, her native Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Spain, Switzerland, and throughout the Americas. Patricia has three pieces that she's presenting today. One for solo English horn, so we'll welcome back Dr. Alicia Tate, and two vocal pieces. So please welcome Dr. Patricia Moorhead, as she introduces her three compositions. I am composer Patricia Moorhead with a PhD from the University of Chicago in composition. This year, I won a Canada Council grant for Voyage Across Centuries for the North Bay Symphony. I am the representative for Northern Ontario for the Canadian Music Centre, and I'm fortunate enough to have my compositions played internationally. My newest piece I wrote for the wonderful English horn performer, Dr. Alicia Cordoba Tate with a DMA and she is the Baron Director and Professor of the Center for Catholic Studies at St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Texas. Voyage to the North describes the voyage that my husband and I made to Timmins, Ontario this fall about seven hours north from where we now live. My composition portrays the fascinating changes in scenery of the fall colors of the Precambrian shield. And as we traveled north to the gold and silver mining regions, there were farmlands and wonderful lakes that are an amazing landscape of this huge province of Ontario. And that was without even reaching as far as the Arctic. <laughs>
It is dangerous to read newspapers. Poetry by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. Jenna Van Oosten, mezzo-soprano with Philip Moorhead at the piano. Margaret Atwood, whose work has been published in more than 45 countries, is, is the author of more than 50 books of fiction, poetry, critical essays, and graphic novels, and is perhaps best known for The Handmaid's Tale, now an award-winning TV series. Canadian mezzo-soprano Gina Van Oosten is a graduate of the Young Artist Program of the Vancouver Opera and is a winner of the 2018 Metropolitan Opera National Council of Western Canada. Philip Moorhead, retired now in 2015 after 34 years at Lyric Opera, is the wonderful pianist. I wrote this piece just after the shooting at Columbine High School in Colorado. Margaret Atwood's poetry expressed the anguish I felt for the young people who died so unnecessarily that fateful day of multiple gunshot wounds. Yeah. 
stains on the difficult maps. Shimmering, poetry by Sharon Singer, Best of Calendar, Mezzo-Soprano with Philip Moorhead at the piano. 
Turkish-Canadian mezzo-soprano Festa Calendar is a frequent performer on concert and opera stages internationally and was featured as the new artist of the month by Musical America Worldwide. Sharon Singer, poet and librettist, has published four poetry books, three CDs, and has a long history of spoken word performances in Toronto, Ottawa, Halifax, and Dallas and New York City. In Sharon's words, the inspiration for a shimmering. It was a perfect night, crisp and still, in late summer on a northern Ontario lake, where the moon painted a silver path across the shimmering water. As the world held its breath, the muse began to whisper. Tonight, there is a shimmering, thin gold trail under a brilliant harvest moon. Last night, the moon, part obscured by dark clouds in a black sky, sat silver high while a thick mist rose from the lake. Long ago, stars filled the vault like tossed diamonds, but now the sky is never really black enough to see the fortune in gemstones scattered there. Crickets do not listen to the moon. Thank you so much, Dr. Patricia Moorhead. That was beautiful. I want to thank her musicians, Philip Moorhead, who is really an honorary member of Six Degrees, just like he was an honorary member of American Women Composers. Actually, all of our husbands are honorary members, but Phil is like the special honorary member because he's got piano chops. Uh, thank you to Dr. Alicia Cordoba Tate, who played oboe. Also, want to thank Sharon Singer for her beautiful poetry. 
uh, Margaret Atwood for her beautiful poetry. And I'm sure you know she was the uh, Booker Prize winner with our, our uh, Nigerian British sister, Bernadine Evaristo. So thank you so much, Margaret Atwood. And to our mezzo sopranos, Gina Van Oosten and Bestie Kalender. Kalender, I hope I said your name correctly. Thank you so much, Patricia Moorhead. I really love that production. And that's from her 80th anniversary concert, which was done a month or so ago. So thank you very much. And we're on to our next composer, Dr. Janice Mizrell Mitchell. Uh, Janice Mitchell is a composer, a flutist, and vocal artist. She teaches at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. She has performed in Europe, Mexico, Palestine, Israel, and China. Her recordings are on the Southport Records label, MMC, Opus One, and Capstone. She holds a doctorate from Northwestern University where she studied, I believe, with Bill Carlins. Please welcome Janice Mizarell Mitchell. The first piece I'm going to play is for solo flute. It's called Border Crossings at Sunset. It was commissioned by a composer named Brenda Hutchinson, who has a website related to numerous pieces that composers have written at her request at either dawn or sunset every day since 2008. You can get this at dailybill2008.com blogspot.com, and there's an archive of pieces there. Most people were just improvising as this time, either morning or evening, occurred. I decided to choose a certain day, my father's birthday, December 11th, this was in 2008, and I had some basic material that I was going to play, which I recorded at sunset, right before twilight, and then I eventually wrote a piece which used this material. The uh, idea is to see what kind of feelings, what kind of sensibilities occur during certain phases of light. So I'll begin with the poem. Border Crossings at Sunset. The space between sunset and twilight, a moment of light lost, a border. Crossing to get away, crossing to get through, crossing to get over, crossing to seek, seeking to cross borders, crossing borders to seek lost light. is called Dolce Fiorte. It sounds like it's maybe a very calm, beautiful piece, Dolce and Fiorte, but it actually is the child of a larger piece, which is not about these elements at all. A larger piece is called The Art of Noise, which is for 
flute, alto flute with voice and percussion. The Art of Noise was commissioned by Mirene Shim, a Bay Area flutist who plays new music for loads and loads of composers. She's a champion of new music and we're very grateful for that. She has recorded this piece and also it's on a CD with that name. So you can find her under mirene.com and get a lot of information that way. The Art of Noise was based on a text by the turn of the century uh, artist, composer, um, inventor of instruments, Luigi Russolo. And he might be familiar to you in that he wrote the Futurist Manifesto, which talks a lot about the time being different for music, that the previous time, especially of the 19th century, was very sweet and dolce, kind music, easy on the ears, and that the turn of the century was now producing sounds from the industrial world that were changing how we listened to music and what we wanted from music as well. So uh, let me give you a bit of a quote and then explain where my source for this piece comes from. So Russolo says in 1913 in the Futurist Manifesto, l'arte dei rumori, the art of noises, that at first music sought purity, limpidity, and sweetness of sound. Then different sounds were amalgamated, care being taken, however, to caress the ear with gentle harmonies. Today, music, as it becomes continually more complicated, strives to amalgamate the most dissonant, strange, and harsh sounds. In this way, we come ever closest to noise sound. So I've taken the words from the above text and put them in different languages, and we get a short poem, which I'll speak for you. Dolce, pureté, compliqué, complicata, harsh, rau, noise sound, l'arte de rumori, l'arte de rumori. Now, my piece, Dolce Fiorte, cannot exist without a little bit of percussion, so you'll see what I'm using. Uh, you may not see this in the actual video, but we needed to have some percussion instruments that also were reminiscent of the music of Edgar Varese. I also have some flute snippets, which uh, I think flutists will recognize, and then a certain sensibility that I feel also comes from the kind of writing that Verez did. And Verez loved Russolo, so we have a connection there. So here's my bass drum. This is familiar, I think. Okay, and then we have a wonderful pot cover. And that's one of my gongs. And uh, my symbol. Okay, that's the symbol. And then we have some other things here and there. So the flutist normally will have the percussion array on a large table, and the flutist will reach for these, and it will be fairly convenient. Mine is going to be a little bit more homemade due to quarantine, but uh, it's always something new. Now we will have Dolce Fiorte.
Brava, 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 Janice. Thank you so very, very much. I really enjoy both of those pieces, but obviously uh, Dolce Parete is my favorite piece. I understand this is from a larger work, The Art of Noise, and I would love to hear that. So hopefully when we come back together and we can program in person, we'll be able to hear the entire composition. But if you're just joining us, that was Dr. Janice Miserel Mitchell, and she performed two of her pieces. Uh, Dolce Porete and Border Crossings at Sunset. So thanks again, Janice. Very, very tough act to follow. This is a good time to remind you that if you like what you're hearing and you want to support our musicianship, please look for the donate button under the about sign directly beneath your screen here. And uh, no donation is too small nor too large. Please give generously to Six Degrees and or to Hot House Global Live. My name is Regina harris Bayaki, and I'm the founder of Six Degrees Women Composers. I have a short piece coming up next and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself in case you're just joining me. I'm a composer, an author, and a poet. I founded Haiku Festival in 2004. Haiku Festival celebrates children through poetry while promoting literacy worldwide. I also founded this group, Six Degrees Composers, in 2010. So this is our 10th anniversary season. Uh, I studied music composition with Hale Smith, and you'll hear a little bit more about uh, Hale Smith 
uh, as I dedicate some of my, I dedicate the last piece to him. But this piece called Snakeskin Shoes is from my children's catalog. I wrote a piece called Foster Pet in the 90s. And it was one of those pieces uh, for, for my children's catalog where kids had to listen to the words, listen to some of the sounds that were being made and guess which animal we were singing about. And if you're interested in the uh, full ensemble piece for voice, oboe, percussion and piano, it's on my Kid Stuff CD, which I'm selling on my website for some minimal amount, like five or six bucks. But we welcome back Dr. Alicia Cordoba Tate. She will be performing Oboe de Amore. And this is an arrangement of Foster Pet, and I call it Snake Skin Shoes. So please welcome Dr. Alicia Cordoba Tate.
Thank you so much, Alicia. Brava, brava, brava. I forgot to tell you that Alicia was wearing snakeskin shoes. So I hope you got a chance to look at them. If you didn't, then you have to come back to our next concert. I'll ask her to wear snakeskin shoes again. But thank you so much, Dr. Alicia Cordova Tate. I, her space is so beautiful. I wanted you to just pull up a chair or sit on one of those comfy sofas and listen to her play all day. Uh, that was Alicia playing snakeskin shoes. So our next piece is by Dr. Kyung Mi Choi. Kyung Mi is a composer, an organist, a painter, a poet, visual artist. She received several prestigious awards, including the Guggenheim Fellowship, the Robert Helps Prize, Aaron Copeland Award, the Illinois Arts Council Fellowship, and many, many others. Her music has been performed around the world in Brazil, France, the United States, and East Asia. Dr. Kyung Mi Choi is the head of music composition at Roosevelt University, where she teaches composition and electroacoustic music. She has a beautiful piece that she's presenting today for piano four hands. So that's two people playing the piano at the same time or sharing the piano and cello. And it's a French name, Wazou Alou. My French is not that good, but in English, it means birds at dawn. So I will welcome her as she explains her piece a little bit more. Please welcome Dr. Kyung Mi Choi as she discusses Wazoo Alu. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyung Mi Choi. Thank you so much for joining today. The piece you're going to hear is called Wazoo Alu, which means the birds at dawn. Um, I wrote this piece uh, listening to bird sound outside of my house this summer. And um, I used that as a thematic material for piano, four hands, and cello. And I dedicate this piece to Messian, who was also very interested in using bird calls for his works. I'm very grateful for Amy, Marianne, and Allison to premiere this work. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you for coming to all these concerts. We have so many people to thank today for being here. I want to start with our Twitch whispers, uh, Janice Miserell Mitchell and Greg Bayaki, and our Facebook whispers, Kyomi Choi and Marilyn Allen. They were chatting with you in the chat room on those two platforms. I'd like to thank our producer and director, Bea Cabrera, and uh, all of the people at Hot House, including the executive director, Marguerite Horberg, without Marguerite, without Hot House Global, without Bea pushing the right buttons at the right time, this event would not have been made possible. So I thank you all so very much. And I hope that you're inclined to make a donation to Six Degrees Women Composers. This concludes our program. Be safe, be well wear a mask and wash your hands. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.